Okay. So let's add a little more text. Tell me something we now know is true that we weren't sure of earlier. So how many people are in your movie in your head? Two. 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 Who are they? The mom, mom, mom. Mom. Okay. Who's telling us this then? The narrator. The narrator. Is the narrator in the park or outside the park? Outside. Okay. If, it's, if the narrator is outside, what would we call the point of view? The third. The third. Okay. Yeah. Is the narrator in the park? No. Yes. Oh, yes. I I watch watch yes. Okay. Now, some of you already added a pronoun. Is the narrator a he or a she? I said she's she. Why she? Right. she? It's another mother watching. Right. Like, sorry, been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the dad's no good, good luck for you. Yeah. Once again, okay. <laughs> Or the dad's not even at the park. Okay. 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 Right. So our background experience, I think. Is really, uh, yeah, we're not bitter or anything. We're not bitter. Really okay. Really okay. okay. Do you think this moment, from the narrator's perspective, I just I don't have great word choice for me to decide this. Is. Do you think the narrator is feeling sorry for this mother? Um, glad the narrator's not going to live this moment again. Um, <laughs> I mean, what do you what do you bring into it? And she's thinking, I've been there. It's yeah. not fun. Okay. Glad it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is going to happen next in our in our story? We don't have a lot. She's not trying to go help. help. Maybe the narrator go help. Could there be a complete meltdown between the mother and the daughter? Yeah. 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 Okay. The struggle will continue. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm nobody in this group sees the narrator as a man. Really okay. it, it could be. Yeah. I mean, it's he's really not okay. doing anything. He's just gonna watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. I have had some people say, "Oh no," when that one comes up. Why? Oh no, because that's the guy who's gonna kidnap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, boys and girls, we are designed to be distracted. Our brains are designed to be distracted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I do remember last last week when we were doing. Can we go on? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Did you guys do this? I don't know. I think it was like a different scenario. You wrote something about. Oh, I did. Yeah. I did. I did. The I did. Say, no, I did. Okay, that's so funny. That is so funny. I did. 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 I is younger. When did you make the same place? Okay. So why did that make you go, hmm? It's like a grandpa. Yes. Okay. Reliving. Reliving. Okay. So we get what's happening in the, the text structure, don't we? Yeah. Still in the park. Same park, mm -hmm. but in a, in a memory, different mm -hmm. time. Okay, good. So does this change I for you? Yes. yes. How does it change I for you? Is no longer like a younger mother or um, watching the okay. mother, other mother struggle. Okay. Yeah, right. And see, I'm back to Jenny. I'm going to keep referring to this subject all day long because we, we've got those Esau kids who are struggling with the pronoun reference. I'm really going to ask those questions like, who is I and what is I thinking and which I is this? And I think that'll help them get used to putting a, a picture with that. Mm -hmm. Are Pat and the narrator a couple or friends? Married, mm -hmm. Why do you get that? Our bench. Okay. Could could a reader say, well, that could be two moms at the park who have their respective girls, and they just call them our girls. But it's twins. twins. See, I, I think you're I think you're taking it to a more a more thoughtful place when you say, but the twins. So I'm push back. Well, couldn't you have two girls? I have two girls, but mine have to be twins. So that our girls could be shared, but the twins are mine. Because is ours with the twins? Our girls. 
Maybe maybe your girls are really good in the park, but my twins are not. Want to go on? Tell me something about the narrator that you think because of this moment. If you're stuck, I'll give you another sticker. The narrator enjoys playing with her children. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they made it a game. Mm -hmm. to right. Kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I had kids stuck, my unsticker was going to be, do you think the narrator is uh, smart or playful? Oh, yeah. Boys and girls, I will not let you say both. <laughs> <laughs> I would say playful. Yeah, playful. Now, I have had kids when I say you can't do both say, well, I think they're smart. That's why they're playful. They really know that if, if they do, if they become playful, they get more success. Right. So let's do a TDA. Ready? Third grade? TDA. Yeah. Here's a TDA. That's not <laughs> the author of the park writes that the narrator, or shows that the narrator is a good parent. Write an essay analyzing how this is shown to be true. So before we look back at the text, what's a good parent? Someone who yes, plays someone with their children. Plays. Do we have evidence that this is happening? Yes. yes. We okay. also have evidence they took their child to the park. Mm -hmm. Just somebody who spends time with their kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What else? Both parents are at the park. Okay. So they're mm -hmm. both very involved. Mm -hmm. See, I think there are people who could have this background. I think a good parent wouldn't just scream and say, get in the car! Yeah. And so I think we're back to that same moment in the TDA that if you're going to get the three or the four, you need to tell what a good parent is. Don't just start pulling evidence.